Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Smith's Chiefs going up against Tyrod Taylor's Bills. From the home of the Bills since 1973, there's a look at the newly named New Era Field just outside of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And look at this, right away a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Being chased out left. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure. But it falls incomplete, and it's second down. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. Second down following the incompletion. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Now Smith. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen, where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. So the D-line's going to spread out. On second and ten, Smith. Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Pass the 20, and he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. Used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it, not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it, and then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you, what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski, okay? Oski different was an things interception. For different, team. different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a three-syllable word. Too many syllables, yeah. you, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. And the D looking like they may blitz. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. 
And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. From the gun, here's Smith. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. <laughs> he is going to find Hill here. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big gain of 31 on third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Third and long. It's Smith. Harris has it over the middle. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. They snap it to Smith. That's to his running back complete. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Bills are going to get the football back. the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. Room to run past midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. That's what love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. This is McCoy, and they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. A gain of three, second down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football, but these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now Taylor to throw on second down. Steps away to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. Jordan Matthews, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. I know old school coaches used to just cringe when their quarterbacks weren't in the pocket throwing the ball. When they, whenever they were outside of it, you could just see them losing their mind on the sidelines. Nowadays, a lot of them like that. Defenses often get confused when the quarterback escapes. Coverages go, go haywire, but in this case, he didn't take advantage of it by getting set and making a nice throw. Yeah, and with that pressure coming, maybe he should have just gotten rid of it. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, 
they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. And he motions the wide receiver. Taylor. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Derek Johnson. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. the interception. Here's Smith. Middle of the field. It's Robinson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Smith. Flesh to his right. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Shotgun snap for Smith. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. They'll run it now. This is Chark Hendrick West. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. On second down, here's Smith. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Play clock's running down. After the interception, here's Taylor. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let this go deep. Back over the middle. He's got a man complete. A big play here for Buffalo. And even 50 yards. And there's Tyrod Taylor doing what he does best. Look, he's taking a few lumps along the way, and some people haven't believed in him. But this is where he excels, outside of the pocket, making plays. As prolific with his legs as any quarterback in the league? I would say yes to that. Now Taylor, forced out to his left. Left side here, caught by Clay. And he's going to be marked down deep into Kansas City territory. A gain of 32 that time. Now McCoy. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. 
Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. as he takes it from the seven down to the four yard line his path became similar to almost running a stretch play didn't it trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back it just never materialized snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three, and not giving up six. And Hauschka's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend-but-don't-break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United. You no, know, not, not quite at that level <laughs> and not of that age. But I remember I was looking, going for the age. I remember looking over at it and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? because he had enough confidence in himself that uh, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. Smith now to throw. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Jerry Hughes in there to bury him for a loss of 11. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 16. Here's Smith. From the gun, he'll throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Buffalo after this. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep for the Bills, Brandon Tate. On the return, it's Tate. A quick feed from Tate. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. 
Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> Again, it's McCoy. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. It falls down incomplete. The best receivers we know always tease their quarterbacks that, hey, no matter what you do, you cannot overthrow me. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened on that play. Normally, they time it up pretty well, but on that one, he just overshot him. Schmidt on to punt as he sends it away. This is taken around the 12. A good kick, 48 yards. Four on the return. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes there's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first down, it's Smith. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Smith now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep the offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. Give him 30 yards there. Smith on first down. Out to the right here to Wilson. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Smith trying to get him to the line quickly with the clock rolling. To the air again, Smith. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Smith throwing again. They're going deep for Hill. Complete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50 50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely, very well. Could have been a third interception in half number one. 
And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Again, Smith. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And some room to work. 20, 10, 5. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And they start the second half with a carry by McCoy. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Hey, I want to take a glance back to last week real quick. We got a second. That Raiders-Chiefs game. How about that ending? Four last plays. That was an instant classic. We can laugh about it. Kansas City is not going to. But when I went back and reviewed all of those plays, I found all the penalties that were called. That was an ending unlike any ending I've ever seen, and especially in a classic rivalry game with Kansas City and Oakland. But what a way to finish for Oakland, a game they absolutely had to have to keep their season going. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. and spun down right at the 45. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. To throw is Taylor. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Here we go. In motion, the tight end play. Taylor will throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the... Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make this a second down. From the gun, here's Smith. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sherman. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. On first and 10, Smith out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Now this is picked up by the Bills, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble 
from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Following the fumble recovery, it's Taylor. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off down at the two. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. This defense figured out something in the locker room. That's two third-quarter picks now. And you just wonder, did he get too comfortable in the locker room himself? His team has the lead. Take care of the football. He's putting him in jeopardy right now. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. To throw on second down to Smith. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Shaq Lawson in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Smith. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 16. And he will bring it back to the four-yard line. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college. And our defensive coordinator says, we're going to call this be who you are defense. D lineman, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, you play the pass. That way, you're all set, ready for whatever they put out there. They'll try and get the running game going with McCoy. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. LaShawn McCoy taking it in from four yards out. And the Bills use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. They give him a gain of 37. On first down, Smith. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. See in that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now Smith. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. 
And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A Kansas City first down, Smith finding Hill that time. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And here we go on first and goal. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Now Smith throwing on first down. They'll leave it for Hunt complete. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there from 10 yards out. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And that is off the left, upright. It's no good. Butker now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. And now out come the Bills. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Instead, second down. That incompletion gives me the chance to bring up Joe Thomas, who last week had his consecutive play streak ended, Charles. He was out there for 10,363 consecutive snaps. He is the NFL's version of Lou Gehrig, Cal Ripken in baseball. The true Iron Man. Talk about doing your job on a team that never went to the playoffs, never had a winning season. Six head coaches, six general managers, 20 quarterbacks in 10 and a half seasons, yet he still did his job, and he did it really, really well. Pro Bowl level every year. Tough news now for him, though, out for the season. The Bills on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. In motion left goes Jones. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. He's going to fire one deep. Middle of the... And got his man complete. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. They did it well. And it works for them. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Time running out here on the play clock. A fake to McCoy. Now it's Taylor. And Matthews has it right side. 
And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. 23 yards on the play. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. First down carry here for McCoy. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Now Taylor to throw on second down. Buying time to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Allen Bailey. He's the one that finally runs him down, and that is a big, big loss. 18 yards. It's Taylor. And he's going to go down again. Chris Jones in there to drop him. And back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 54 yards away. running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will get the lead up to 14. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. And now here comes Kansas City. Smith. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here comes the D swarming to the line. Second and ten. Smith again. And going deep for Hill. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 45. And he'll wind up losing five yards or so on the return. But no matter, they've got the football back. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. After the interception, here's Taylor. Nowhere to get away. Down he goes. Taylor is sacked. Chris Jones in there to pick up his second sack now Ohio, of the afternoon. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Here we go. Ohio. 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 Flex round. Ohio. Ohio. Flex round. Flex round. You go tight. You go tight. You go tight right there. Flex round. Flex round. On second down, Taylor. Looking downfield for Jones. And this will be caught at the 30. A big play here for the Bills. And even 40 yards. 
Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Play clock winding down. Second and ten, it's Taylor again. Dancing to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A gain of six there on first. Here's Smith now on second down. On target over the middle to Hill. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Smith on first down. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now they got to get to the line quickly. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. A good pick up there, a 22. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Shift together here from the D-line. Here's Smith. This is caught. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Anthony Sherman, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. And they will line up now for the two-point try. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. 
And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off inside the five. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. The 30, the 20, 10, 5, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Butker now to kick this one away. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Looking downfield for Jones. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. So the D-line's going to spread out. Taylor going to throw it. Being chased out left. Room here to run. And down he goes but he takes it up to the 40. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up a first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Here's Taylor. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Zay Jones was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Second and 10 now, it's Taylor. Flushed out right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And the offense now will try to regroup after the sack on second down. And the wideout in motion. To throw is Taylor. Throwing on third and long. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Here's Colton Schmidt now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And the slot man goes in motion left. The Bills will go for it. It's Taylor. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And it's incomplete. He's still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. And Charles, you know what coaches always tell us. We want to win our home games. That much we know. We want to protect our home turf. They got that done in this one. Exactly right. When you start a season, everyone's goal. Win all of your home games, split your road games, and you're likely going to be in the playoffs. But when you win at home, boy, what a great feeling that is. You don't even mind if people are at your house when you get home after a win like that.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bills are victorious as we say so long from Buffalo.